Aloha! Lisa here with Upside Down Pilates and Nourishment. Um, I'm the creator of the Joint Pain Eliminator program and this is where I help women eliminate joint pain so they can get back to living a life that they absolutely love. Today I'm going to share with you how to make hamburger casserole. I got this a recipe from Leanne at Mennonite Farmhouse and I'll link the original video in the description but I've changed it over so that we can eat it for the GAPS nutritional protocol. It is a absolutely wonderful recipe so if you're not on GAPS and you want to put some carbs in your life you can go over and watch her original recipe but I'm going to show you how I've adapted it so that I can eat it. Um, there are moments in time when you just want a hamburger, and if you're doing the GAPS nutritional protocol, you might not be able to do it. So I've adapted it. You can do it for stage two and beyond, making different modifications. But for full GAPS, uh, for sure, everything that I'm putting in, you can do. Um, and then if there's stuff that doesn't work for your body, you just aren't going to add it in there. All right? And I'll talk about that as we go through. So... Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, give me a comment, something you liked, you didn't like, a question that you have. I do try and get back with all of them, um, but this is going to be a perfect recipe if you're doing gaps and you just want to have a hamburger um, and you want to have some more nutrition to it in addition to just having a hamburger. It's delicious, so let's get going. top of the casserole right before we bake it. What I've done, this is fresh side. I've actually cooked it down and I'm going to use it on my side of the casserole. My husband and I have different likes and dislikes. He doesn't like the fresh side. I love the fresh side. I've already cooked it down. I did about four slices and the what's in the pan now is the oil from the fresh side. So this is pork fat. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in onions. Now you can Put whatever you want on top but my topping is going to be onions mushrooms and uh whatchamacallit uh <laughs> dandelion greens okay on my side um i'll have the onions the mushrooms dandelion greens and the delicious fresh side and then on my husband's side he'll just have the onions because he doesn't like the other three things very as well um, in any case, so I've, the grease is hot, and so we're going to put in now, or it's getting hot, I turned it down a bit, we're just going to put these onions in and let them cook down. Now, what Leanne does is she actually puts french fries, and she recommends french fries or onion rings on hers, Well, I don't do potatoes, um, and the onion rings are covered in, normally they're all covered in a batter. So I'm going to do onions, mushrooms, greens, and some fresh side, and it'll be just delicious. And I made this before, and it's really yummy. So what I'm going to start with is the onions. I'm starting to let that cook down um, in the fat, and then I will come back when it's time to add our mushrooms. And I do it in this order because it's what cooks the fastest. And you want to get these the onions cooked down pretty good before you put them in the casserole because once it goes in the oven, it doesn't really um, cook down very well. And I like my onions kind of soft. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okie dokie. So uh, that, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, now, just so you know, I don't know if I said before, I put one red onion and a half of a yellow onion in. You can use whatever kind you like. You could do up to two, depending on how much onions you like. So they're cooked down nice and good. And I'm actually going to take these out of here. This is always a trick. And then put them over next to my fresh side that I cut up while we're waiting. 
waiting for these guys to cook up. And the next thing that we're gonna go in with is our mushrooms. So I have a bunch, I had a bunch of mushrooms I need to use up. So it's a mixture of cremony mushrooms and portobello mushrooms that of course I got from Farmlink. And of course my fresh side is from US Wellness Meats. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take the mushrooms and I know it always looks like a lot in the beginning, but then when they cook down, it's not nearly as much as you think it's going to be. And I needed to use these up, and I love mushrooms. So, I'm cooking them down. Alright. So again, these are... I'm going to say this is quite a bit. I cut up maybe four cups. You don't need to have this much. Just, you know, a package of it or whatever you have is fine. So this will cook down, and if you feel like you need to add salt to any of this, you can certainly do that too. You could add garlic. I'm not. I'm just going to let the pork fat season it deliciously, Woo and uh, take it from there. All right, so I'm going to let these cook down. When they're done cooking down, I'm going to add in my dandelion greens. So I will come back when it's time to do that. Alrighty, oh dear friends. I, uh, the mushrooms are cooking down. They actually soaked up that uh, pork lard really quickly. So I had to put in some ghee. So I put about two teaspoons of ghee in, maybe a tablespoon of ghee in, and let it cook. Now we're going to add in our what Jim calls it? Leaves or dandelion greens. So I don't know. This is what two cups of dandelion greens. So I'm just gonna go boom, boom, boom. Drop it right in. I let that. I let it dry pretty good. That way it didn't sizzle and pop too much. And so I'm just gonna mix it right in with the mushrooms. And if I need to add some more ghee, I can. So. If you don't, if you're not using the fresh side, you can just use ghee for this. If you don't like fresh side or you don't want to use the that type of fat for whatever reason, everybody's got their reasons. Um, ghee works great, and I like the cultured ghee, and you can definitely get that from the U.S. Wellness Meats. I love that they just deliver it to the door and I don't actually have to go to the store. So I'm going to let this continue to cook down. And then once I'm done with this cooking down, I'll take it out and put it on the plate. And then I will show you our next step, which is going to be to start browning our hamburger. So this was our top. And then we'll start working into the main area in a few minutes here. All right, see you in a couple. Okay, now we are finished with our topping. So uh, you can see it over here. I mixed up everything together that I'm gonna put on top and then I left some onions off to the side for Jeff. I put two pounds of beef in my pan and I'm starting to fry it up. You can just do it with one pound if that's all you have, but I like to double this recipe so there's enough for more than one meal or a few meals. And then also you can freeze it if you need to. And again, meat farm link, my dear friends. Now, I'm going to add in a chopped onion. I already chopped it up. And we're just going to drop it in there. So we've got the beef frying. We are adding our onions, and I'm cooking this about medium, I would say. My uh, wonderful stove is possessed. As you can see, I don't have the most fanciest of stoves. It works just fine, but it's a little possessed and slightly temperamental. So I've got it on medium, but that could turn to high at any moment or just stop working. We never know what's going to happen. So you do what your stove needs to do. 
I have also started to warm up the oven because we're going to bake this. So um, I've got it going at 350. Now here's where I want to share with you if this is a full gaps version here. So if you're in stage one, foods can only be boiled. If you're in stage two, foods can be boiled or baked. So if you're at stage two, but you still want to make this, rather than frying everything in butter or fat, you can just boil it. So you can take some onions and boil them. You can take some mushrooms and boil them in some stock. Wouldn't that be amazing? Some chicken stock or something. And you can uh, boil them up and then either boil it down so that the broth soaks in uh, or strain the broth off and then drink it. That's another way to do it. That way you can still make this if you want to cook it up like that. So you can do the beef like that, put it in some stock and then boil it up so it's all ready to go for you nice and boiled. So in any case, I'm going to let this continue cooking. And uh, when I come back, we will add a little bit of salt and we're going to add in two garlic cloves. Okie dokie. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, it is time to add the rest of our stuff for our beef mixture. So we've got two garlic cloves that I smashed up in my handy dandy smasher. I love this thing. I will put a link in my Amazon store. I actually don't have one right now, so I'll try to get it in there before I post this video. This thing is so cool. And if you're having some rough hands, Sometimes it's a really good way to mince it. Some joint pain hands. All right, so there we got our two garlic cloves in there. And then you've got a couple options here. This is sauerkraut. Remember when you cook your sauerkraut, it kills all of the good bacteria in it, but you still get the vitamin uh, vitamins in it. So remember we've got vitamin C, We've got vitamin K, we've got vitamin H, I think is what they call it, that heals ulcers. That's all still in your sauerkraut, even if you cook it. And if you're having trouble digesting vegetables raw or raw um, uh, fermented vegetables, cooking it breaks down the fibers even more and it makes it a little more digestible. So this may work for you. So I'm just gonna do, what is that, a cup or so? Now, if you look at Leanne's video, when she does it, she puts in some uh, uh, relish, some, uh, some, rel some dill relish or sweet relish or something like that. So you could use another fermented vegetable or if you did have some dill pickles, uh, some fermented dill cucumbers that you made, you could put that in here too, but pretty much anything's going to work. I love sauerkraut. I love the taste of sauerkraut. Uh, I love the smell of sauerkraut. I am German Austrian, so I feel it's probably in my microbial DNA and my genetic DNA all at one time. So look at all this beef. So this in itself is going to be a delicious meal. <laughs> this is one of my easy handy dandy meals I make all the time. But we're going to go one step further and turn it into a casserole now. So I'm going to let this cook for a few more minutes and then we're going to start turning it into a delicious casserole that you could take to a potluck if you needed to. Okay, I'm going to let this cook a little more and then I'll be right back. Okay. We are going to make the mixture that we pour over our casserole for a binder. In here I have six eggs that I've already whisked together. So we're always trying to get more eggs into our diet on gaps. So here's a great way to do it. Now, the next thing we're going to add is mayo. This is homemade fermented mayo, which I am going to do a video about and teach you how to do it totally homemade, totally made in this jar, and it will last for about two months in the refrigerators. Um, oftentimes we don't do things because they don't last very long, like this mayo. 
when you make it normally without fermenting it, it'll only last for a few days. But because it's fermented, it'll last up to two months. And um, it, it works fabulously. The other thing about it is you know what's in it. So I made this with olive oil. You can make it with whatever oil you want. If you've um, ever read the labels on mayo that you may get at the store, it's pretty horrifying. There's soybean oil, canola oil, I, I mean, high fructose corn syrup. It's basically really horrible for you. So we're gonna do a cup and mix it in with our eggs. This, I know, it is organic raw olive oil. And it's also fermented. So there you go. The next thing we're gonna do, you could also use uh, milk, cream, whatever you wanted to use. I am using my kefir, my kefir made from milk. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. Maybe. Woo! And again, that's going to help get the lactose and casein out of there by fermenting it. It'll kill off the probiotics by cooking it, but it will give us that wonderful creamy taste. So if you're not doing any sort of lactose or casein, you can do it like this. And then we're just going to wix, excuse me, whisk this all up in here. Stir it around, whisk it up, and this will be a nice, creamy, delicious binder for our casserole. All right, I'm going to keep whisking this around, and I'm going to go and grab our um, beef. And then we can start getting this all put together to put in our oven that we've been preheating at 350 degrees. All right, the moment of truth. We're putting it all together. Sorry for the shadow here. Um, so here's our beef mixture. I put it in a 9 by 13, I believe it is, casserole dish, large casserole dish. And... Um, before I put it in, I greased it with ghee. You can grease it with whatever you want to grease it with. So the beef mixture is in here. I'm going to take our mayonnaise, eggs, and kefir mixture and just pour it over top here. Mmm. Ooh, I almost missed. So it's going to sink down in there, but it also makes a little bit of a, almost like a cheese cakey effect when you use the kefir or yogurt, and I love it. I think it's delicious, but you can find out what you think. So I'm going to kind of push it down in there, and that's going to bind the whole thing together. And be yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, next thing, I'm going to put this over in the sink. The next thing we're going to do is add our cheese. All right, so I shredded a whole chunk of cheese. I believe it was about seven ounces. Um, you can decide how much cheese you want. I'm just going to eyeball it. This looks like a lot of cheese to me, but we're going to pop it on there. Uh, the recipe calls for two cups, but she's using half as much beef. I'm guessing this is about four cups. And remember, this is organic raw cheese that I shredded myself. Make sure there's no mold or caking agents on it. And if you are not able to do cheese yet, or you can't tolerate lactose or casein, you just leave the cheese off. It's going to be great without the cheese too. But if you can do cheese, a little extra flavor and extra nutrition. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. Let me get this out of the way. Now, for what we made at the very beginning, if you don't, if you 
I uh, haven't forgotten. So I misjudged <laughs> the onions. So this is Jeff's onions and it's not going to cover very much, but that's okay. He can either eat some of the other or just scrape some of the other off. So this will be, oh, he's going to laugh, but that's okay. I'm not perfect, so ideally I was going to have half of this for him. Or maybe he'll want some of this, who knows. So here is our other mixture that I'm going to put on here. And it's got the... Now, the recipe calls for French fries or onion rings or hash browns or something like that. And um, I, I can't do those, and that is definitely not on the GAPS nutritional protocol. So we're putting this in as a replacement, and I think it's going to be very delicious. So remember, these are our onions and our fresh side and our, oh, what did I do today? I did dandelion greens and all those mushrooms I needed to use up before they went bad. They weren't really going to go bad, but I needed to use them up. I got more coming on, not tomorrow, but the next day. So i got to use them, and I love me some mushrooms. All right. I made a mess, but that's okay. So here we are. What we're going to do now is put it in the oven for uh, 35 minutes at 350 degrees, that should have already been warming up. And then I will come back when it's done, show it to you, and hopefully by then Mr. O will be here and he can do a delicious taste test for us. All right, let's see how this goes. Alrighty, it just came out of the oven. Woo! Gonna cut Are you into excited? this. Uh, I'm curious. I actually don't even know what's in here. Well, you'll have to Do taste I need it. to just taste it? You can have it. You can put little sprouts on it if you want, or just eat it like that. You could also Let's put see. lettuce on it. It's mm, called it's a, a cheeseburger little, casserole. It's a little bright because of the, the way the lighting is working. Said the filmmaker. They're like, this is the first thing but, we've been able to see out okay. of this video. Let's uh, let's try this. It might be a little hot. Sorry. No, no, it's good. Hmm. Wait, what now? I don't know. What's in here? Um. Food? <laughs> food. It's a little... You don't like it. No, I, I... The flavor is pretty good. Hold on a sec. Maybe it's so hot I can't, like, enjoy it. It did not get an immediate dance. It did not get an immediate dance, no. Okay. But let's 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 try again. Maybe maybe it was too hot and it's I had to... It's okay. Come. Not everything's a winner. Is there something sweet in here? Onions. The onion? Is onion just so sweet? Huh. Okay, now you got me curious. I'm coming over. You're going to have to give me a bite. A bite of mine? Right. You want your okay, this bite? Okay, I'm here now, oh, hey, people. Do you want to get closer yeah, in the camera? Yeah, just give me a bite. That's a large bite. Do you taste the sweetness? <laughs> I know. You got to blow on it and like, plus that was a large bite. Mm, that's the onions. The onions are sweet? That's sweet? Yeah, apparently these are. These are some sweet, these are super sweet onions, guys. That's really interesting. I don't like them. I mean, mm. they're different. 
So my side is going to be different because it's not. It doesn't have as much onions as that. So he just took a bit of the oniony side. Mine doesn't have as much onions. It's got other stuff. Okay. Give it's the a... onion that's that sweet. Yes. Huh. There's not. There's. My face is like so bright. Said the filmmaker. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Let me try the other one. Yeah. Let me try the other one as well. You won't like it. <clears throat> no, I don't mind. Okay. Wait. You don't know what's in it. I have it. to adjust this. Okay, I'm eating out of the thing. Hmm. Yeah, they're quite sweet onions. It's getting late, people. I'm hungry. I'm tired. That was salty. I think that was the cheese. It's just too damn sweet. Mm. Is that side better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me try. I think it's better. It's not nearly as sweet because there's not as much onions. I mean, there's still onions, but I mixed them in better. Yeah, That's I prefer really my onion to have more of like a, like a bite rather than a sweetness. Yeah, but this is two different kinds of onions. It's a red onion and a, a yellow onion. Mm -hmm. Just cook down and then put on top. Interesting. Okay, well, we got some interesting stuff mm. going on here, people. All right, try the other side. See what Over you here? Think. Yeah. So maybe not so much of these onions on top. It's hot. This is like the forever tasting video. <laughs> it's called dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy. More than just a tasting, who, it's dinner. Who invited you? <laughs> I don't know. Whoever's casting this show. Obviously. Gotta talk to the casting director of this <laughs> show. That would be me. <laughs> Crafty, Shinobi, you ready? Alright. Hot, man. Better. Or you don't mm. like it? Still has that sweetness. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> no, there's, there's... The onions are the only thing that would be sweet. And it's like in there... What kind of cheese is this? Uh, cheddar. Okay. Is this eggs? There's eggs. Eggs, mustard, or eggs, the uh, mayo. Oh, maybe it's the mayo. What's in the mayo? There's nothing sweet in that mayo. I thought you were going to say I had too much mustard. Mustard's not sweet, though. Unless that's what I'm picking up on. Well, you may not like the mustard. <clears throat> I like the mustard. No, but it has a, like, this has a sweetness to it. The sweetness, the only thing in there I think that's sweet, unless I've lost my mind, is the onions. I mean, and the one that you tasted, I could definitely, those onions are sweet. Oh, really? Yeah. Now this one, I, there's sauerkraut in it, but sauerkraut's not sweet. Okay, so he does not like the onions on top. I like the onions. No, on I top. like onions. Don't get me wrong. It's just that something in here has like a sweetness to it that's just like. I kind of want this to be more salty and savory than sweet. What if you don't have the topping on top? Well, there's onions inside of it too. Maybe this round of onions is just sweet. Could be. Those Maui sweet onions. They're not, it's red onions. Okay. But isn't that the Maui sweet onion chips? Or isn't that what those are? Oh, I don't know. I thought those were yellow onions. I don't know. Okay, so we don't love it. Not right now. I think... It I'm is very I'm curious if that... If the onions, the mustard, and the mayo... <laughs> <laughs> the mustard's in the mayo. But, like, the mayo's a brand new... Yeah, but I thing. tasted it, and it's good. It's just like the other one. I like the other oh, one. okay. Up to you guys. Try it. I don't know. <laughs> Try it out. So I like the one. I really like the one that has the 
dandelion greens and the onion and the mushroom and the uh, pork side. I think that's delicious. The mm -hmm. one with just the onion, it was it was a bit sweet. The onions were sweet, so we may just have a round of super sweet onion. Super sweet onions, or maybe I cooked it too low and too slow, and I shouldn't have cooked it so much. I'm not sure. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna eat a whole He's bunch of this. He's still gonna eat it. He'll <laughs> probably eat half of the thing yes. tonight. But, um, you know, he's just, he's picky. He's yeah, Well, spoiled. no, you want, you know, I'm giving the honest yeah, review. Honest kind of a thing. review. Too sweet on the onions. Yeah. So. Like if you're looking to make this thing dance, dance quality, where it gets that, that dance out of me. I found it dance quality. People. I don't, not for me. Okay. Okay. But it's edible. Did you want to share anything about your new favorite uh, equipment that we're no. using today? Okay. He's okay. got nothing to say about our new mics. Oh, he says no. All right. Are we done? I'm done. I'm going to eat. All right. The tasting continues. <laughs> it's called dinner, folks. <laughs> oh. Were we recording? Yes, we're still recording. Okay. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I'll see you next time. Aloha. I'm done. Oops. I